Selling your home with a relocation company. But first, let's hit it! Hi, this is Alan Victoria Pinder. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time that you wanted to know everything about Greenville, Winterville, and Pitt County, please subscribe on the channel and get notified when we put a new podcast and video for you. Um, honestly, we get calls, texts, and emails to 252-327-3357 from people just like you looking to buy, sell, or relocate, which is what this video is about. And today we wanted to talk, without any further ado, talking about relocation company. And I stay tuned with channel and the podcast because we wanted to provide also the bonus uh, tips mm -hmm. with the video that hopefully you can get some tips from this video. Okay, so number one, how do you work with the relocation company? Is it different from when you just sell your house on the open market? Yes. Um, step one, it's because your company has set you up with this relo company, right? Yes. And they are different methodologies, but some some of these things are still the same as normal. When my wife said the company means uh, the job that you have, for example, your banker, your IT, whatever it is that you're doing and your company wanted to help you to move to the new location. Right, and so now let's walk you through how we get there with a the relocation company because it is a little different and a little bit more complicated when you're selling your home. So typically sellers have two options, not just two one. Two options. The first one is what? The buyout. The, the first option is a buyout, as my wife said, and what it is basically the relocation company do three or four appraisal and inspection on your house and decide the price of your home. But which is really good because you you understand what is the price but downside of it is really honestly is they don't share with you uh, the three numbers that they got from the appraisal company therefore they might not tell you what was the highest one that they got right so they're not going to reveal their ultimate price and you are picking this option for the buyout without knowing the price the price is only revealed to the seller if you have chosen this option so and typically the buyer price is a little lower than the market value you would get for your home therefore what we are dealing with here is a lack of transparency a little bit and also that's why the buyout option is not be attractive to you as a selling your home except it does get you to that new job faster but you have left money on the table or potentially left exactly. money on the table um if you choose this company you're getting to that new job fast um and they're gonna sell it at a higher price than your buyout price so do you expect that and this course is method is preferred by your company and your relocation exactly. company but it's slightly less desirable for the seller itself because you own a piece of land you own a home that's gorgeous it's yours and you want top dollar so the second part you can still do with the relocation company what is that the second thing basically is putting your house on the market this is like a normal what what we do for the clients it's still slightly there's some differences it's a little bit of difference into it and basically what it is um okay so the standard practice of having open houses listing it with an agent all of these are there the main decision maker is still the seller and so is you they are the main decision maker. right so you're deciding which offer to pick you're picking your price your which negotiations you're gonna do and so that is really with the seller the main difference is who is the seller dealing with mostly. basically you get the listing agent according to uh, whatever the relocation company is um, you might interview with the two three four more agent depends on the relocation company and also you pick your own listing agent and what it happens here the most conversation is between you as a seller and the relocation company and listing agent is not directly involved in this conversation right so the listing agent is also reporting to the relocation company weekly daily yeah. whatever it is that they're looking for typically weekly um, and then they're having that negotiation more with the seller as well so there's a third party in between so it's not directly listing agent to to seller it, there is of course you know who it is and you can talk to people off off the record but on the record you're talking to the 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 relocation company and as my wife Victoria said uh, if you wanted to compare to the buyout option buyout option it could be very um, faster quicker because you wanted to get your next job that you're moving to but it maybe is less money but in the the process the second one that listing in the market you might be a slower because you're going to that process like a normal listing but 
you might get more top dollar, no? And I want to also throw in now, I think, that at any point during the listing the listing on the market, you can pull back, let the reload company get, give you the buyout price, leave, and then just let the listing the listing agent and the relocation company do it on your own. Um, so you always do have like a backup plan, but you don't know what that number is, and that is exactly. the scary part of that. So let's continue on with what happens La in a deal. <laughs> Exactly. Now we wanted to give you the bonus tips. No, the bonus tip starts with actually two questions. What happens if the deal falls through and your house back out to the market? No? Okay, so yes, so all continue. Um, the house is not sold until all contingencies are satisfied. Mortgages are put down at the lawyer's office um, or title company if you're not exactly. in North Carolina. And the seller owns the house until the very end. Um, relocation is not bothered of what the seller chooses too much, but exactly. since the listing agent is motivated to make a deal happen and it's a little less motivation because you're leaving it on the table longer the listing agent since it it's not directly involved with you it's a exactly. little harder to negotiate with you or for you on your behalf to say all these extra things we can do um and if it falls through it's going to go back on the market exactly. and the whole process starts again but what happens if it doesn't sell at all what what happens um, the relocation can still throw in that buyout option and exactly. you can choose. That's what we're expecting. That's mm -hmm. what we said is alternative that they can bring again on the table the buyout option and then you might not get the top dollar that you is in your and mind. And it's probably going to even be, let's be honest, it hasn't sold at your price. So now the, the power is really in their hands. Do buyers have negotiations? Therefore, this is the second bonus tip that we wanted to do, that do you as a buyer have higher negotiation power if the relocation company is involved or no? Okay, so yeah, this is if you're a buyer and somebody can say, hey, this is the reload company that we're talking about. So there is a chance that there might get some sort of discount, but the yes. buyers don't have that much of a leverage either because again, it's corporations dealing with corporations and it's a little bit less personable when it Personal, comes to negotiations. Yes. So the seller is still the decision maker in all of these things. There is a slightly lower chance only because the, the listing agent has lower motivation because they know they're gonna leave it on the table until exactly. either the, the seller takes the buyout or they finally get the price they want. So, I mean, it's gonna sit on the market a little longer. Um, and so your chances of getting a, a discount only comes from how long has it sat long, on the market because these people the do market. need to go somewhere. So it's just not going to sell in a weekend. It might sell in a month, 45 days. The longer it sits on the market, the more chances the buyer has. So I hope this video was useful. And, and this podcast and podcast. see you on the next video. Can't wait. And podcast.